But what we want to talk about is that there are measurable, when we talk about scientific uh, projects and teaching kids science, mm -hmm. there are measurable outcomes, correct? There are. They're, they're both the scientific outcomes and then the learning outcomes. From the scientific outcomes, it's important to understand um, the content, what they're learning, and we want it to be up to date and relevant to what they might see in the news, whether it's about an oil spill in the Gulf or a volcanic eruption um, uh, somewhere in, the, in Iceland area. Those are the things that they can do. These are some just brief statistics of the students we have. We have over 95% of our students that go on our field programs to Montana and Wyoming graduate from high school. 58, almost 60% go on to a four-year college, and over 30% of our students are actually in science. They decide they want to major in science, and that's increasing. So we're excited. We're just trying to make a difference. We're trying to be a part of the solution. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that prevent students from being interested in science. We don't want that to be part of what Project Exploration does. We want to try to see these students as growing in their world. They're going to make a contribution. They're going to make a difference. This could be your daughter, your granddaughter, your son, your students in your classroom. They can make a difference in a lot of different fields. But with Project Exploration, we want them to make that difference in science as well. Okay, we have a caller on the line. Caller, go ahead. Uh, yes, brothers. I just want to say I thank you for your integrity <laughs> and your hard work with the children. And you is absolutely right. We Nowadays, we really need more scientists. The way things are going with our everyday world, we really do need young people to start learning more about their environment that they live in. Uh, I would just like to know, could you give out a number uh, where you can be reached? Yes, the contact information is on the screen right now. Right, you can give us a call at 773-834-7614 is our main phone, or call to get our Discover Your Summer resource book at 773-834-3714. You can also email us at info at projectexploration.org. Yes. And we have another caller on the line. Caller, go ahead. Yes, how's it going, brothers? Okay. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Uh, I also have a, a project I have going on for the youth as far as science. I am a scientist myself, but not a full-fledged scientist, but a neighborhood scientist. Okay. <laughs> and, and it's not just about dissecting frogs in a classroom. Okay, the science that I'm doing is we dissect old German shepherds, rock wellers, all the dogs that's in the neighborhood that don't get that type of care, and they're already going to get, like, you know, ex uh, they're going to get terminated. And what we want to do is, when you put that information up on the screen, we want you to take advantage of that contact project exploration, and maybe there might be some opportunity to partner with them in some place that they can actually work with them, right? Because you want to get to the kids in the neighborhood also, correct? Right. We want to be able to get to the kids where they are. Mm -hmm. We're going to come to them. We're going to give them opportunities. There's not going to be any barrier that we can't overcome for these students to do what they naturally would do anyway, and that is explore. Project Exploration sees the youth as a project. Mm -hmm. They are going through phases. They are growing up. They are learning, and they can make a difference right here in this city. We have another caller. Caller, go ahead. You're on the air. Yes. Go ahead. The uh, project that Mr. Greer is talking about, and I'm interested to know what are some examples of the field trips? Do the students get to go on, on digs? Mm. That's right. You know, I'm, I'm glad you asked this question because that's one of the hallmark programs that we do yes. is to allow students to go on dinosaur digs mm. and do a variety of different activities where they get to work alongside scientists. You know, in today's world, we're ex students are exposed to uh, video games and such. Video games essentially put you into a particular field, whether you're a football, a basketball player, or you're a firefighter, whatever it is, in the video game. Students want to try these careers out now. They don't want to wait. So we get them immersed in science. Here's some of the students at Yellowstone National Park. This student is testing uh, the water there using a, a pH strip. Mm -hmm. to understand a variety of different activities. And, um, and these are the things that they do. They do real science in real locations alongside scientists. And when they're doing those digs, they actually have discoveries, correct? <laughs> they have discoveries. Now, the students didn't discover this one, but, but um, at, on one of the, the particular um, expeditions, uh, Dr. Paul Serino and uh, some of the 
um, some of his staff actually discovered this Jabaria skull in Africa. And this particular specimen here is just the skull of this animal. So you can see how big it is. One of the largest um, animals that ever lived on this earth. It's a sauropod. And you'll see that same type of animal in our logo. This uh, particular specimen is 135 million years old. Wow. And um, this is one of the largest land animals. has a very long neck and a very long tail. And they were plant eaters. And you know, people may not even know, right, right underneath us in Chicago, there are a variety of different fossilized animals, things that are there that we can explore and learn about. And this is something in, in the field of paleontology. It gives the students an opportunity uh, to do this together on their own and with scientists. That's fantastic. And we also have other programs that can get involved. This is the junior paleontologist yes, program. Yes, we have correct? a junior paleontologist program that gives them an opportunity to look at uh, some of the specimens that are collected and work with them. They work both in the lab at the University of Chicago as well as um, um, learning about what's going on at the Field Museum that has an, an incredible collection. These are some of the dinosaur giant students that you can see interacting with guests in Stanley Field Hall at Field Museum, learning how to communicate that. And in our Sisters for Science program, these are students that are doing a dissection. You can see that they're exercising with the gloves and their uh, lab goggles, lab safety, and they're exploring. And that's totally fine. We usually have an astronomer, uh, I mean a uh, scientists there and we do a variety of different um, subjects. You did bring up, uh, if we could go right back just sure. to one of those quotes, Marshall, we have here, this is a student, Andreas, tw age 21, he says, project exploration is the reason I'm in Montana, in college, and majoring in geology. That means traveling outside of his neighborhood, going to college as a first generation college student, and majoring in science. Before he didn't have any interest in this. And he came to visit us just a few um, weeks ago. Wow. And he had a lot of tattoos, and he showed me on his arm one of the tattoos that he had. <laughs> and it was a big tattoo of the logo of Project Exploration. All now, right. if you can go through your neighborhood <laughs> with science, lo uh, a science tattoo, logo on your tattoo, you know what? You're proud of what you're doing right. and making a difference. And that's what we need to see in our community. Yes, We need to see these students we do. feeling proud to learn and to be in science. It's, it's, it's important. And we have another caller. Caller, go ahead. Huh. Go ahead. You're on the air. Hello? Yes, hello. Yes. I would like to ask uh, Mr. Greer something about his background, since he seems to be very knowledgeable, science background. Okay. Thank you for calling. Yes, I have a uh, physics background. I'm a graduate of Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia, and I also have a degree in educational technology from Pepperdine in California. I am a, a Northwestern Kellogg executive scholar and a Chicago Community Trust uh, leadership fellow. I've worked in uh, museums most of my career. I worked for five years at Adler Planetarium. I was the senior director of education at Shedd Aquarium and spent some time in Denver where there are a lot of mastodons and other things that are there too. So I have a science background. But the most important thing you need to know is I'm a student and I'm uh, of CPS and, uh, ah. and I grew up on the south side of Chicago oh, just okay. like these kids. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like you if you're watching this show. And last year your organization won an award, correct? That's correct. We won an award from the, uh, the Obama White House for uh, one of the top three organizations for science mentoring in the country. So it's very prestigious from an organization right here in Chicago. Well, again, we want to thank you for being a part thank of you, our Marshall. program. Thank you, Marshall. I appreciate being here. And again, the contact information is on the, on the screen for Project Exploration. Please take advantage of these programs. Our youth need science projects, and they need to be involved in science every day of their lives. The contact information for the FACT organization is on the screen. We want you to contact us if you have any questions, any projects you would like to have discussed. Please contact us at the address you see on the screen. We would like to thank you for tuning in tonight to our program, and we look forward to seeing you next week when once again we start building our nation and strengthening our communities, the FACT organization. Thank you very much for tuning in, and good night. Thank you.